Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate Sample Exam Question 2. To create drawing view B, it's necessary to sketch a spline as shown on drawing view A and insert which SOLIDWORKS view type. Again, read carefully the questions. So, what you have to understand here is that they are asking what you have to do when you're having already A to create B. We have four possible options, aligned section, detail, broken out section, and section. The hint from SOLIDWORKS is for the view types. If you are not sure, you can open your drawings and check the description and images provided with every view type to see which is the correct one. In this case, the correct answer is C, broken out section. As mentioned in my previous video, for the first question, there are only two view types which are based on spline. These are broken out section and crop view. The result from broken out section is to receive a partial section in the view that you already have. The result from crop view is to see only what is within the spline as a result. Let's have a look on the other views. Align section. So, actually, all the sections are aligned. So, this is really wrong as an answer for any question. Section view, which is D, is uh, what I'm pointing out at the moment. You have a complete section or partial section, but based on lines. So this section view is based on spline, not on a line. So this cannot be a section or a line section. Detail view, on the other hand, is similar to crop view. Just it's giving a part of the section as more zoomed and away from our main view. So let's go on detail view and it's usually based on a circle. Let's see if we can do at all a detail view with a spline. Yes, we can. Okay. But you have also text here and it's related to your detail view. So I lost my spline. And as I said, the last one is the broken out section. We choose it, show it here. This is exactly looking as our result. We choose a broken out section. Here you have a preview. It's very comfortable, especially when you're not sure where exactly you have to stop. And with the preview, we receive exactly what is in B, just without the colors. Here, the hatch area is more dense. Um, to change this in your drawings, you go here, click on the broken out section, and you receive this menu on the left. Uncheck material cross hatch. And here you can scale your hatch so it's more dense. You have to do it individually for every area in your broken out section or other section. And now overview A is looking exactly as B. And the correct answer is C, broken out section. To remove a broken out section, zoom to the area, you will see this broken out section icon coming on your mouse. You can right click go to the broken out section and just give delete. It will ask you if you want to delete also the sketch. If you want to keep the sketch, uncheck this and say yes. So that's all about the sample exam question two. 
If you would like to ask me something additionally about the different views in the drawings, you can write your questions in the comment section below this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!